Satoru Gojo is dead, or at least as close as he's ever been to it in the manga for Jujutsu Kaisen, after a long fight with the King of Curses, Sukuna. But could Sukuna actually have just given another villain exactly what he wanted? In the Jujutsu Kaisen databook, when asked about his big villain, Kenjaku, the interviewer asked Gege Akutami if Kenjaku, who can trade bodies, has ever considered taking over Satoru Gojo's body, or even Toji Fushiguro's for that instance. Gege's response was really interesting, because he says that taking over Gojo's body has always been impossible, since you can't kill him, which is a prerequisite for Kenjaku. Jaku's body switching technique. The issue is, as you're aware, this prerequisite has finally been met, and even worse, we have no idea where Kenjaku is or what he's doing. Could it be that just like with Maito, he's waited until the moment where his target was weak enough for him to spring his very own trap that shakes the entire Jujutsu society? With Gojo's body on top of every other cursed technique Kenjaku has collected over the course of history, he might actually become the strongest being there ever was. And if he still merges with Tengen, how would that affect things considering the six eye users and Tengen are linked by fate?